The following video is a sample lesson from the Power BI Dashboards and Data online course on one of my favorite features, cross-filtering. In this video, we're gonna take a look at cross-filtering in Power BI. So now we have some visuals here from different data sources. This comes from our Snowfall table and our Facebook table. These visuals over here come from our sales table. So cross-filtering allows us to click on a component of the visual and apply a filter to all the other visuals in the page based on that click. So for example, if I just hover my mouse over this Q3 area here of the donut chart and left click it, that's going to apply a filter to all the other visuals for Q3 data. So we can see over here that our bars are highlighted here for the months of Q3. Our map has also just been filtered down for only Q3 sales data. And then even our snowfall and inches in our Facebook posts are now only showing uh, those numbers for Q3 of each year. So we can see the dark bars down here. The highlighted part is showing us Q3 numbers, and then we get a total uh, number there as well in the screen tip. So very powerful stuff here with cross-filtering. And we can select just about any component in any visual to apply that filter. So for example, if I only wanted to see, let's say we only wanted to see January data, I can just left click on this January column right here. That's filtered down my donut chart here for Q2, and it's even highlighted just the portion of revenue for the Q2 piece of, or I'm sorry, the January piece of the donut for Q2 here. You can see if we chose uh, February, that was highlight a smaller portion there than if we choose January. So it's even cross filtering at this level within the donut chart. Same down here with our column chart and our map chart as well. If we only wanted to see revenue for one of our locations here, one of our buildings, maybe this McCoy station, we could click on that and same thing would happen. Now we would see revenue, the portion of revenue just for McCoy station, same with our donut chart. And we don't have uh, location data for our snowfall or our Facebook post. So this visual is not going to be filtered because there's no related data there. And that's important to know because this cross filtering is happening based on the relationships that we've created between these tables. So if we jump back over to the relationships tab here, we can see that everything's really related to our calendar table. All of our major tables here with data in them are related to our calendar table. And that's where this cross filtering is happening. It's kind of happening through all of these lines here because everything's filtered or uh, has a relationship with our calendar table. So if we jump back to the reports and we start doing these filters, again, if we just filter for January, we can see that our snowfall is also filtered for January along with our Facebook posts and our sales data. And that's because of those relationships to the calendar table. So everything has that relationship to the calendar table and that's what's allowing this cross filtering. So that's why the calendar table is so important and why you'll use it in just about every one of your models and your dashboards is because it helps us create that relationship between data sets and then do all kinds of very powerful filtering. And of course, this is such a fantastic way to explore our data and find new insights on it by just really clicking around the data and clicking different quarters, maybe Q4, we can figure out, oh, look, Q4, we didn't have any revenue here, obviously, but Q4 is a light month happens in June. So of course, we're not going to have a whole lot of sales data there. That's kind of the end of the year and everything's winding down. Uh, same with the Facebook posts and all that information there. So again, you can just explore all you want and find a lot of insights about your data. And I should also point out to turn the cross filtering off, you just click the visual again, just click a component of the visual that will clear all cross filtering across all the visuals on the page. So in the next video, we're going to look at publishing our report to PowerBI.com and creating our dashboard. That was a sample lesson from the Power BI Dashboards and Data online course. Power BI is Microsoft's new business intelligence tool that will help you create interactive reports and dashboards that can easily be published and shared with anyone. During this course, you're going to learn how to bring data together from multiple sources, including Excel, databases, the web, and more, clean up and transform the data, create relationships between the data tables, and then create interactive reports and dashboards that are accessible on any device, including computers, phones, 
tablets, and even your smartwatch. The reports can be refreshed anytime with new data, and you can also schedule refreshes to happen automatically. Power BI is the future of how we analyze, present, and share data. It's an amazing new tool that provides us with a lot of opportunity. My name is John Alcampora, and I developed this course to help you learn Power BI in an easy, step-by-step -step manner. This is a self-paced course, and you will follow the lessons and learn how to build the dashboards. These skills will make you a data superhero within your organization and help you get recognized by your boss and coworkers. Please click the link below the video to register for the course and join us today. I look forward to helping you learn Power BI. Thanks again, and I'll see you inside the course.